Hello Cancer, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you are new, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. This is the best way to support my work. Cancer, a lot of new Cancers on the channel because of the last reading I did. So thank you so much. Um, I'm really excited for today's reading. So let's start by picking the general energy. What wants to come through for Cancer? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have the Strange card and the Five of Swords. Leo season could have been really rough on you emotionally, spiritually. The Five of Swords is about the nervous system, the brain and the ego, and how sometimes other people make us feel like we did something wrong but your heart is in the right place with the strength card. Um, you're definitely connected with spirit, with your angels, your guides, whatever you believe in, connected with the universe. There's something about that, but there's been an uncomfortable situation during Leo season. So the last four weeks, we just ended Leo season yesterday. So there's something really important about that. Uh, Five of Swords, again, an uncomfortable feeling mentally. We feel like we did something wrong when actually our heart was in the right place. So there could be something that you are putting on yourself, you know? It's hard for me to express that in English. Remember, guys, I'm French, but... Um, it is not yours to hold is what I'm hearing. There is a situation that someone made you feel like you were the problem, like you did something wrong, like you were too much, you weren't enough. It's not true. Your heart was always in the right place. And I think that there could have been judgment on your side or on another person's side. I feel like you were judge for the wrong reasons. I don't know, it's coming up for me right now. There's an unfair situation that happened and you're definitely realizing in the next month that this helped you grow. It helped you see, it helps you, it help you not only grow, transform, but it helped you see the beauty in you. I don't know, it's, I feel it was something really important that needed to happen. Okay, so Sagittarius have the same two cards. If you have Sag in your chart, definitely watch the Sagittarius reading. But with the two of wands and the eight of cups, you're moving on, you're letting go. There's an end and there's a new beginning here. So it could be your mind changing perspective with the queen of swords. You survived something that honestly looks really difficult, maybe traumatic also. Um, it's something personal to you, but there has been an ending and now it's time for a new beginning. And you have a new perspective on life, it feels like. Seeing the beauty in the small moments, knowing that you did nothing wrong. But I feel like for a, a period of time, there was this weight on you mentally, could have even impacted your sleep and your physical health. Um... I don't know why this happened to you, but it's definitely unfair. But you're you're about to get out of that, to release that energy. And a lot of a lot of conversations about the situation. I don't know. This could be a fight that you had online. Like it felt so unclear and so unfair. And I just want you to know the feelings you have are valid. You're not crazy. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Wands and Ten of Swords. You've been going through a lot. And you're definitely ready to release that. You're like, okay, I've done my best. How you feel about me, it doesn't belong to me. I'm not carrying that with me. I have enough swords, uh, you know, that I have to carry. I am done. I'm not going to be carrying other people's problem on my shoulder. It just doesn't make sense. So... I think there's something about the way you communicate 
that is changing. It's not only your perspective, Cancer, but it's definitely the way you communicate things. There's something important about that. Um, speaking your truth, speaking up in a situation that was really unfair. And that was kind of you planting a seed, setting the tone for how you want to be treated. You know you deserve respect. You know that you deserve to you know, be seen and heard. And I feel like there's something changing about that. There is this haha -ha moment. And it I feel like it comes up after a fight with someone. That could have happened in the recent past, could be happening right now. Um, it was supposed to happen that way. As stressful and as painful as it was, or as it is, this is, again, you planting a seed. I deserve respect and I'm not going to let people treat me that way. And I'm not going to let people make me feel like I'm the bad guy here. Like I did something wrong when my heart was always in the right place. And I never wanted any of that to happen. So, yeah. Someone accused you of something. And I don't, I feel like you did nothing wrong. Yeah. Now the focus is changing. You've been focusing on what others think of you and the shoulda, coulda, woulda and what I could have done and said. You're refocusing your energy on you, your healing journey, your magic, and again, your connection with spirit. We have two infinity loop already in that reading, which is really important. Plus the eight of cups, which is highly connected to the, in the infinity loop. So... You have great karma, Cancer, literally, and it's coming back to you. And I feel like it's been a while since you've been asking, when are the good things coming up in my life? You know, I've been trying to heal, trying to do better, trying to be a good person. And I feel like I have everything to succeed and have success and be happy when is this going to be happening for me finally and this is coming up this is the new beginning again the change of perspective everything has been moving really slow around you when it comes to your healing journey this change of perspective i feel like if you look back at 10 four three years ago and the way you were receiving information the way you were reacting to things and problem and fights it was so different now it feels like you know how to protect your energy you know how to not let someone else's opinion or decision impact you so much and that's creating such a beautiful boundary around you you know i think there's definitely a lot of boundary work, work sorry that's been happening here and it's hard for me to speak right now for some reason uh doesn't happen much even if you know i'm french uh <laughs> and sometimes my words get mixed up there's something about the way you communicate your needs. I feel like for most of your life, Cancer, you've been keeping a lot of things for yourself. Pain, sadness, overwhelming feelings. You don't want to bother anyone. You don't want to be a burden. It's okay. You can speak up. And I think that this is definitely something that's changing here. You know that you're enough. You know that you deserve to be heard. And you're done with people making decisions for you. I feel like there was a lot of time in your life where other people's decision literally messed up your energy, your plan, uh, you wanting to change direction, you having a plan for your future. In French, we say mettre des bâtons dans les roues. I don't know how you say that in English. Um, Someone stop you from growing and evolving. And that happened more than once. The universe. You're freeing yourself from that. Freeing yourself from this energetical prison. With the Empress, it's your time to receive love, abundance, this good karma that I've been talking about. I really like seeing that for you. We have the Eight of Wands also. A lot of cards that fell out, so I'm just going to shuffle again. Um, 
there could be traveling talks about traveling if it's not connected to travel it could be a dream that you had for a really long time that's finally coming to fruition um again no one is stopping you from getting where you're you're supposed to be knight of wands this is it you're so focused the focus you have right now when it comes to your dreams when it comes to you know your passion whatever you have in your heart space it could be about love work anything i don't want to make this a specific love rating um but what you have in your heart is so important right now. And again, you're really focused on that because we have two nights here. You have a clear vision, a dream, something that you want so bad. And again, it's been so slow. It took so long for this to happen for you because, again, of other people having such a big impact on your life page of wands and queen of cups wow so yeah there's something secret there's something that you've been keeping for you you are super mysterious cancer i feel like it's so hard to know how a cancer is truly feeling um the cancers i know personally are some of the funniest people always making everyone laugh, all, all, you know, always trying to help others and never putting themselves first, really. Um, and I don't think you get enough credit for how funny you are, Cancer. I just want to put it out there. It's not something people talk um, about enough. But with the Queen of Cups, something is coming up the surface, something that's been hidden, something that you kept secret um, it's coming up definitely. It could be something about a passion, a hobby, if you are a creative person. Again, if you have something burning inside you, this passion, it's coming to fruition. There could definitely be an offer coming your way. I feel like right now you are in the process of planting seeds, okay? So writing about your ideas, sharing your ideas with, you know, your online community, with your friends, with the people you feel safe with. Your dreams aren't too big. There's actually so much luck in your energy, and I've been feeling that for a couple readings now. It's definitely a good time to have your ideas um, just get out there, talk about them, write about them. The things that you have in you that are secret, that makes you you, makes you passionate, makes you excited for the future, it's time for you to share that, okay? This is like the good time for that because there's definitely something about timing. The time is right to put that project out there, uh, to have your ideas be heard, you know? This is definitely what I'm feeling. A lot of cancer are creative. A lot of cancers have the potential to have their work become viral, have they, their work be seen by the world, uh, their talent, you know, shown to the world. But I don't know. I feel like there's been so many struggle and it has been hard for you to focus on that. So you've been trying to ride the wave of uncertainty and anytime you get a peaceful moment, you're like, okay, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to relax and enjoy that. It's time to push through fear. It's time to get out of your comfort zone, as scary as it sounds, Cancer. And we have the King of Pentacles. This is so amazing. You've been planting the seed and the result is going to be a full grown tree. This is Virgo season. As I'm recording this reading, okay, Virgo season is so important for anyone who's an artist, anyone who's a creator, any ideas that you have, anything you create with your own hands. Virgo is the humble worker, you know, working hard, being really structured and clear with your ideas, your work. It's time to write down your ideas and let yourself dream big. You are planting the seeds right now. And even if you're doing little things, you know, sometimes we feel like the little things we do, the little change, uh, it's not going to change anything. The small habits are going to be changing your life. Trust me, make sure that you 
embrace this rhythm of moving slow because the end result is again a full grown tree. It could be a change of career. You could be relocating. You could be buying your first house, buying a new house. Um, you could be meeting a new lover through work, through sharing your work with the world. It feels like you sharing your ideas right now is like the key to some to you know a door opening to something really big. And again, I feel so overwhelmed with my words right now. There's something important about communication. Um, let me pick a clear message from the universe here. I'm going to take this deck here. I want a clear message for cancer. Why am I feeling something about communications? So weird. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. There's an opportunity that's coming up for you. It's an opportunity that you can't even picture right now because it's so much bigger than what your dream is. Again, it's time to dream big, Cancer. It's time to embrace that you are the hero of this story. This is what the Page of Sword is all about. Even if it's scary, even if your dreams seem too big. Look at that swords. It's definitely too big for that person here. Do you think they care? No, this person doesn't care. This person is the hero of their story. Um, ready for anything that come up. Ready to have the difficult conversation. Ready to get uncomfortable because their dreams are possible. There's something about that. There's something about you freeing yourself from any restriction any stories that you created about yourself when it comes to not being good enough when it comes to i might be too old for this i should have done that when i was younger you know it's never too late it's never too late and the time is now there is an amazing energy around you and that's why I feel so overwhelming because you're shedding, you're, you're shedding so much. You're releasing things, moving on, changing your perspective, connecting with your heart chakra, um, learning to live in the present moment and not let the ego always um, take control of everything. So with the seven of cups in the reverse, this is it. This to me is like the door opening to the eight of cups. This era of your life, it's over. And you might be grieving, you know, good memories, being nostalgic. There's so many beautiful things coming up in the future for you. And I want you to believe that, okay? So definitely express yourself. Call a friend. Make yourself be heard. You deserve that. Use your voice in the best way you can, definitely. It's time that you... Get out of your shell a little bit. Get vulnerable. You know, we want to see what's inside the shell of cancer. You know, you guys are represented by the crab, which has this hard shell. But what's inside is so precious. You know, this is what we're, we're wanting to see. What's inside? What has been boiling inside you? What is there waiting to be... Um, flourishing because this is you flourishing in ways that you've never done before i really feel excited for you so let's pick an oracle card cancer i want to see what, what this is all about i want a clear message for cancer the end of a tough cycle approaches yeah i'm not surprised i told you this has been really hard my dog is barking just to confirm <laughs> This has been really hard and I've been feeling it for a while in your reading that there has been so many ups and downs, so many barriers and you're breaking that. It's, it's about to finally come to an end and we have adjustments are required. So how can you open up a little bit more? You know, how can you let people see what's beneath the shell, the hard shell, you know? How can you get a little bit more vulnerable and let yourself dream big? 
yeah, there's going to be adjustments, but this is what happened when we're changing and going through such a huge transformation. So, yeah, it's time to get out of your comfort zone. And this is not going to be easy for you, but it's going to be paying off big time. Okay, Cancer, take care of yourself. Sending you a big hug. And I can't wait to do your September reading. It's going to be out next week. So stay tuned for that. Okay.